Ralph Kimball and Bill Inman. Who are these guys? Inman is the father of data warehousing and Kimball is a data warehousing giant. And these are the two people who suggested a lot of ideas how to do data warehousing, what is a data warehouse and how to uh, how people can implement a, an actual data warehouse. So according to these people, these great people, what a data warehouse is, Kimball said a data warehouse that is a copy of transaction data specially structured for querying and reporting. This is not that easy to understand. So let me get into the another definition by Inman. A data warehouse is a subject oriented, integrated, non-volatile, time varying collection of data in support of management decision. When you saw the database first, I told you each table in that database is arranged in a group. Each group is called a subject area. So we saw different subject areas like human resources sales, production, person, purchase. This may vary according to the organization. The subject areas can be of doctors, patients, inpatient, outpatient, lab reports like that. And it can be of like different loan sections, different mortgage sections like car loan, mortgage, investment banking, etc and it can be of sales inventory production employees customers so a data warehouse is subject oriented each table is arranged or grouped according to its subject so a data warehouse is divided into different section each section corresponds to a particular subject only and the data is integrated we are collecting data from number of sources. Say we are collecting data from 100 sources. And after the ETL process, we load the data into the data warehouse, a single data warehouse. So the data is integrated. Before the ETL process, the data is spread across different sources. Maybe spread across across the world we are collecting data from different sources across the world and moving all this data into a single source that is meant by integrated non-volatile means the data is non-volatile the data is never deleted from a database that is meant by non-volatile why it is non-volatile because the data stored in a data warehouse is used to for analysis to do effective analysis we need a lot of historical data that's why we never delete any data in a data warehouse time variant means according to time the data in a data warehouse will increase the amount of data in data warehouse will increase that's why it goes on when we newly implement a data warehouse at time zero the data in data warehouse will be amount of data in the data warehouse will be zero and when time goes on at time x the data warehouse will be with full of data that's why it is called a time variant collection of data and why we use this data warehouse this is mainly used for analysis and management decision supports this is known as DSS decision support system all the data present in this data warehouse is used for DSS management make their business decision according to the analyzed data from a data warehouse so a company want to implement their own data warehouse system in their company they already have a system implemented in their company that is not a data warehouse but they are using an another system and this system is not a perfect system there is lot of problems with this system the main problems they encounter are accessibility timeliness format and integrity 
when they try to access data from their current system they face a lot of problems that is accessibility issues timeliness deals with the time taken to generate a report or to pull a data from the data basis what they are implemented right now is huge this is what known as time issues management is not supposed to wait for a long time to get a report from their database or data warehouse they want to get reports instantly that is time is a main component in data warehousing system another problem the company is facing now is formatting the report generated from the data in their system are not that i can do because they can't give any graph any map any animation so the generated reports are not stylish that's why they are the client will only be able to understand their business in a day to day life in a better way by directly seeing very nice graphs charts and animations produced from their database or data warehousing system if they are presented with only tables and columns they can directly go and get into the database and look and try to get an idea that is what happening with this company right now because they don't have an option to give graphs and charts and animations integrity is an another issue with this company the accuracy of the data is not sure whatever the data they are pulling from the database the accuracy is not sure they don't know is this data is accurate or not that's why some of the decision 